the second question had to do with the fact that uh, you thought we were uh, being rather hasty uh, in uh, making this announcement. But in regard to the uh, situation that I just described for you, which is that uh, the temperature for uh, surrounding the fuel uh, is more or less stable, that uh, there are, we have been no uh, radioactive um, um, materials uh, being emitted outside. This situation was something actually that we were able to confirm uh, by the end of September. Uh, what we have done in the intervening months, in other words, during October, November, and part of uh, December, in other words, we've been spending uh, a little bit over two months to confirm that the situation uh, remains the same and that it, has, it is not changed. In other words, the government and TEPCO have been working to uh, confirm the safety of the situation. And here I would also like to back away from the word safety because the word safety uh, brings to mind uh, words like safety myth, which of course now we do not like to think about very much anymore. Uh, so we have looked at this uh, from uh, the point of view of uh, being able to, of resistance, in other words, being able to uh, withstand the current situation and also in regard to having enough redundancy in the system to ensure that uh, all um, situation, any situation that might arise could be dealt with. Because of the North Korean situation, I've been instructed uh, to be uh, in my office uh, by the uh, cabinet office, so I must re excuse myself in a few moments. I will be able to take maybe one more question before I leave, though. Okay. The last question. And can we have a short question and, uh, and a short answer? Just a second, can you... Quickly, uh, the question is, uh, were you, before you made your announcement on um, Friday, did you uh, give this information, did you give an ex adequate explanation to foreign governments as well? To uh, nuclear regulatory agencies and different countries, uh, we are in ch uh, touch with them on, on a daily basis. We are exchanging opinions uh, constantly. Uh, so it is not as something as formal as explaining our, uh, this cold shutdown situation, but we exchange opinions uh, regularly, and as a result, the information has been conveyed to them. And um, perhaps uh, my approach might be a little different, or my way of thinking might be a little different from yours, uh, but rather than explaining to foreign governments, I thought my first duty was to explain uh, the situation uh, to uh, the people of Fukushima and the people of Japan, who are the most anxious and most directly affected. Of course, in the future, uh, we would like to continue uh, not just making one announcement or one uh, presentation, but to have a continuous dialogue with foreign governments to explain our situation. And accept a one-year honor, Jim Bosan by using our facilities at the club. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Uh, stay here uh, 10, 15 more minutes. Uh, who, please. And uh, to whom, uh, pl please mention to which person you want to ask the question. Well, I really wanted to ask the Japanese government representative, but since he's gone, I'll ask Mr. Aizawa, and I'll translate my own question. Uh, first of all, there's an Israeli company by the name of Magma BS was in charge of security at the plant before the accident, and reports given to the Japanese government by the Japanese security police say they were involved in sabotage at the plant. Furthermore, the price of Higashi Nihon House, a company that makes low-cost housing in Tohoku, rose 40 percent on March 10th. Finally, um, <coughs> a conversation was recorded between Deputy uh, Secretary of State Kurt Campbell and Ichiro Ozawa on March 9th, during which uh, Ozawa was offered the rights to zeolite in Fukushima province. Zeolite, as you know, is used to clean up uh, radioactivity. And I'm wondering why there has been no announcement about this. Uh, で、最後に3月9日にアメリカの国務副長官であるカートカンブルと民主党のなんで発表ありませんでしたか。Well, did you find all this based on well, from the Japanese security police, of course. And many other sources. But you can check the stock price and you can confirm that Magma BS was in charge of security at the plant. This is open information. Thank you. I'm very sorry, but I do not know any details of the three things that you have mentioned. Uh, if, uh, therefore, I would ask uh, your indulgence, I would like to look into this matter. If there is something that we should be doing in response to these matters, uh, then we would like to consider it further. But I have no idea. This is the first time I'm hearing of these things. 
Yes. Crowell from Nuclear Intelligence Weekly. Uh, last week we had a guest here who was a who had spent some time as a worker at the Fukushima plant, and he mentioned in passing that you have that he'd heard their plans to drill a hole in the core of the unit number two to try to ascertain the, the status of the of the core. Uh, do you have any such imminent plans? Yes, yeah, thank you. Certainly, as was mentioned earlier, uh, during the 30 or 40 years uh, that we will need to uh, decommission uh, the reactors uh, in order to move forward with this process, at some point we will have to do something to ascertain the status or the situation or conditions within the reactor core. Uh, in order to ascertain the uh, insides of uh, the uh, nuclear reactor, whether the best way to, go, uh, to do this is to drill a hole in the pressure vessel or the containment vessel, or whether we should try another method altogether um, is still open for debate. For example, it might be that some of the pipes that are used uh, to uh, carry water into the containment vessel might be employed uh, to check the contents of the vessel. It might be also that we will have to do more research and development to develop new technologies to deal with this question. But whatever uh, the final result is, we would like to choose the best method possible. In any event, uh, we believe it is of paramount importance to be able to ascertain directly uh, what the situation is inside uh, the uh, reactors. As a result, we would like to continue uh, conversations and discussions with the government and try to find a, a speedy resolution to this issue. I mentioned earlier on December 15th, uh, Mr. Suzuki, uh, who was a journalist uh, and who worked uh, at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant for two months, uh, told us of his experiences. He explained that he had a dosimeter, but he would put it into his socks or turn it over um, reverse uh, sides uh, in order to cheat on uh, the radiation levels. He said that was the only way to be able to do all of the work that was required. In other words, there were not enough people. If you require several decades to decommission the reactor, are you going to be able to uh, secure enough people? Uh, as um, you mentioned, uh, and uh, it is because of the uh, workers uh, who were working on site uh, that we were able to reach this um, position that we find ourselves in where we finished uh, step two of our roadmap. In other words, it is because of the tremendous uh, work and efforts of these uh, workers uh, that I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart. Uh, the, the problem that you mentioned, uh, will, we be, will we be able to secure enough workers uh, for this long road uh, toward a decommissioning? Uh, that is a huge challenge for us. We believe that there are two things uh, that we must always keep in mind uh, to be able to realize this goal. One is that we must ensure that enough policies are put into place so that workers uh, can be secured for this long work process. And secondly, as part of that, we must make sure that uh, there is close and stringent monitoring of their health levels, in other words, to make sure that uh, their radiation exposures are carefully and accurately monitored. Uh, we believe that uh, these uh, two uh, policies are something that the government uh, supports wholeheartedly. The minister referred to that in his comments himself. One last question. The room has to be used for another event. Who wants to ask the last question? You have, you have not grilled yet, Mr. Uh, Yamada, so please don't. You can ask him a question. <laughs> no? Ah, yes, please. Ah, oh, madam. Madam didn't ask a question. It's the last question. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Yamagata, I'd Can you, can you uh, introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Yoshidori. I'd like to ask you one question. But are you a journalist? Yeah, yes. Can you, which, which publication? Uh, NPJ. Thank you. Uh, May I speak Japanese? Yes. Thank you. I've uh, heard that in regard to uh, the terminology that is being used, uh, cold shutdown conditions or cold shutdown equivalent, we've heard that uh, NISA and the NRC have been debating uh, many, many things. Can you explain to us um, exactly uh, what it is that you've been debating? Yeah. So. Uh. Uh, this discussion was held maybe three or four months ago. I'm sorry, I don't remember all of the details, uh, but uh, basically uh, we were explaining to them uh, what we were trying to um, uh, target, in other words, uh, the situation of a cold shutdown. 
uh, we of course uh, immediately confirmed with them that uh, this is, would not be a cold shutdown uh, as you see in normal cold shutdowns with normal reactors. With normal cold shutdowns, you would be able to basically remove the lid and exchange uh, the uh, nuclear fuels. Uh, there would be no steam emitted. Uh, there would be no emitting of radioactive materials. Uh, I don't remember the actual uh, details of the discussion, but we were talking about that last word in Japanese, which is cold shutdown, jōtai. Jōtai can be translated as situation or conditions or state. It's a very, very vague word. And we were talking about um, how this might be translated in English, and some of the words that were used were maybe quasi-cold shutdown or equivalent to cold shutdown or a condition of cold shutdown. Uh, in any event, uh, regardless of the words that were uh, finally uh, discussed, uh, we were able to convey to them what it is that what it was that we were trying to achieve. Thank you very much, Mr. Yamagata. Mr. Aizawa, accept an honorary membership card. Uh, don't be afraid to come again to the club. Come as many times as you want uh, and answer even our uh, most. Uh,